Right now, uh, politically, the year 2017 did not go well for Minnesota or for the nation, and most especially the South. So I asked our counselor in all things Southern, Prescott Beauregard, to help we Minnesotans understand the nuances of Southern discomfort. Prescott values the arts, good bourbon, and a loyal listener. We began our discussion at the Inez Greenberg Gallery at the Bloomington Civic Plaza. Welcome back to Bloomington. Well, thank you. It was delightful to be uh, here in, uh, you said, Bloomington. Yeah. Bloomington, Minnesota. Yeah. Right, yes, yes. Very cold. I, I shall attempt uh, to convey uh, something that perhaps you have not heard about our homeland. Well, it's, uh, down south you don't have dogs, you have hounds. Indeed we do, sir, yes. And uh, that uh, hound right there resembles mine at home. Old Yeller. Old, Old Yeller? Yeller? Yes. Uh -huh. Empathy is Prescott Beauregard's bromide of choice for both politics and art. My goodness, uh, uh, it's, it, it's a point ahead. Uh, and that could mean a great number of different things, couldn't it? But, it, but look, it has... Our conversation continued nearby in the Democratic Vision studio. Well, Prescott, as a Southerner, I have some questions for you, uh, primarily about Mitch McConnell of, of Kentucky. Y yes. Uh, do you uh, uh, hang out in the same circles? Well, you, you, you have to understand Mr. McConnell is from what we call the border south. Uh, yeah. Kentucky is, for many of us, practically uh, Yankee land. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but that said, um, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly aware of the gentleman, and I, I may be related to him very distantly. I mean, we all are somehow related. Sure, yeah. You know, but, yes. uh, how do you think he's uh, carrying on in the, in the Senate? Is he a, just a puppet of Mr. Trump, or oh is he trying to, re you know... Well, well, uh, puppet, no, uh, if he's a puppet of Mr. Trump, what, why, why then there's something wrong with the wires, if you understand what I'm sure. saying. Uh, no, uh, he, he's, um, he's, uh, he's a very, very uh, uh, um, upset gentleman. He's in a position that's very difficult. It's called leadership, which, which just terrifies me. I mean, leading anything just, just absolutely terrifies me. I, I like to be back five or six rows from anything that's actually happening. And, and, and so, uh, really, Ms. McConnell strikes me as, as, as a, a, a sort of person to whom I cannot relate at all, uh, since he attempts uh, to, to, to lead and to bring into uh, uh, fruition uh, legislation and all kinds of complexities that are just terrifying. Is there any advice you can give to Mitch McConnell on how to uh, negotiate with the, with the administration? I would simply say, uh, Mr. McConnell, uh, uh, fortify yourself with uh, some of the fine old um, liquids of uh, your home region, mm. and then uh, just do your best. Uh, but do, do be fortified. Uh, it's your only hope. Okay, another important senator, Tom Cotton of Arkansas. Mm. I, I don't know the man. I, I don't really know anyone from Arkansas. Again, we think of Arkansas as uh, 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 marginally southern. Um, uh, I believe it, it butts itself up against the state of Missouri. Now, in the Deep South, uh, there's been a movement to remove the Confederate flag uh, mm -hmm. from buildings and also to take down statues for Civil War uh, generals mm. and heroes. Yes, yes. Uh, how are you dealing with this? Well, well, I'm I'm actually very very happy to see the the statues go. You see, Jeff, those those gentlemen, are, um, well, the 19th century gentlemen, and they tended to dress badly, and their and, and their facial hair was untrimmed and very unsightly. What I would like to see the plinths occupied by, uh, uh, you know, now that the statues have been removed, are some beautiful allegorical statues, such as uh, Lady Liberty in a diaphanous gown, or, or the Spirit of Progress. Uh, the, uh, I miss that kind of statuary, Jim. Really? Yes. NASCAR race fans, oh, uh, yes. you know, they're, they're kind of married to the Confederate flag. There are decals of it mm. on the cars, mm. uh, t-shirts, mm. sweatshirts, helmets, the whole oh. bit. How are you going to deal with your fellow Southerners who, uh, you know, have to live with this flag?
Well, well uh, my goodness, I, the flag, you see, the flag to begin with is, is the, is, is the battle flag of the Confederacy, Jeff. It's not the official flag. Sure. And as a battle flag, it had to be visible from a long distance by soldiers. And, and to be visible by, uh, by soldiers by, from a long distance, it had to be rather garish. Mm -hmm. which it is, and my goodness, when you paste it on a car that already has the logos of oil companies, it's just too much. And I, 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 I say, wipe it away, wipe it away. Well, I, I hope you have a safe time back home when you return. Well, I, I, I simply stand upon graphic design principles, and if uh, my fellow Southerners don't understand my aesthetic aversion to the Confederate battle flag, well, that's their problem. In Spain, Catalonia uh, voted to uh, become independent from the rest of Spain. Mm, indeed, I read this. Um, have you seen similar inklings uh, down south? Oh my goodness! Yes, every so often someone, uh, uh, you know, steps out and says, "Let's let's secede." My goodness! And usually, it's some uh, it's some poor little fella who's off in one corner of some unpleasant county of some, uh, you know, forgotten district of Alabama or somewhere who just wants to secede. Well, good luck to you. So why don't you take your county with you and see how uh, how how it gets along by itself? I I should think that would have been. Uh, uh, decided long ago. Now, I personally have considered from time to time personal secession, and uh, not so much. What do you mean by that? Uh, Pers personal secession. Not so much from the union in a political sense, but just a secession from all the clamor and the noise and the, and the vulgarity that I see about me. I could just remove myself to a, to a place of safety in my my small nicely decorated apartment with the wind-up Victrola playing Schubert constantly. Oh, that sounds nice. It's very nice indeed, and yeah. that is how I um, periodically secede, though I have never done it permanently, Jeff. Well, if you find such a situation, let me know what the address is. Well, I, I would be uh, delighted to invite you, Jeff, for a brief time, and we could work on getting you a green card. <laughs> <laughs> What is there about Southern charm and about listening and storytelling that Minnesotans could learn? Oh my goodness, Jeff. The main thing that you all up here could learn is to take your time. Take your time, living slow, the slow the, life. The slow life. I, I mean, yeah. you people consider yourselves to be slower than, say, a New Yorker, and perhaps yes, you so, are, but from yeah. my perspective, it's just rush about this way and that way. Go to Target, mm -hmm. uh, leave Target with purchases, uh, run off to the, the place where you get your gasoline, run over here where you obtain your pet food, constant running. We uh, prefer to um, remain in place as long as possible, mm -hmm. telling our tales, of course, uh, and when we need something, we, 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 we would hope that we would have a, have a young person we could send to get it, so we don't have to get up out of our chairs. Uh, I, I'd love to see you go in that direction up here. Prescott Beauregard is one of the comedic characters that have been created by humorist John Spade. John and company have a website and appear at local clubs, events, and here on Democratic Visions. I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. DeMille. Democratic Visions is handcrafted by volunteers from Eden Prairie, Hopkins, Minnetonka, Edina, and Bloomington. Watch us on select community access cable TV channels and on our YouTube channel. This is Carol Sundstrom. <laughs>